Hi guys. Take two. <laughs> I forgot to uh, put my microphone on the unmute position. So I did a whole reading <laughs> without sound again. Anyway, last night, um, Deanne and I were working on a case of Karina Holmes, who was from Sweden, and she came to the United States after she had won about $1,500 in a, a lottery there in, in Sweden. She thought, 20 years old, yeah, I'll do a little traveling. So she came to Boston, uh, Massachusetts, 1996, and sounds like she got uh, hired on as an au pair, which is a, a nanny. And um, she was working as this paid au pair, but she had um, let a friend know, maybe by phone or by writing at that time, since there was no, you know, well, no, there was maybe some internet. Yeah, you could email. Anyway, she, she let a friend know that she was ready to come back home and to Sweden and that something quote unquote bad had happened. And her family, her sister wasn't aware of this with whom she usually shared things with. And you know how that can happen. I, I can completely understand that. So I just wanted to clarify to see if there was any connection between whatever that was and how unfortunately poor Karina ended up. And if you're interested in her case, it is uh, one of the most gruesome cases uh, Boston has yet to solve. So it would be really great. I think from what Deanne and I got that we see it as being solvable in the future as technology progresses um, I think particularly with regard to prints and, and some of the evidence that her remains were in a plastic, plastic bags. So anyhow, so just to give you a background on what I'm looking at. All right. So what was the bad thing? Let's take, go at it again. What was the bad thing that Karina Holmes was concerned about and why she told her friend that she wanted to return home to Sweden? What, what was that? Let's first find that out if we can. And I give thanks to the Most High. And I ask the Most High to help me to read accurately and clearly on this case and all. What was it that was the quote unquote bad thing? Let's see what we get. Well, <clears throat> this is the three of wands and this is looking out at I think connections one has with work. Um, also people that are well-connected in business that are expanding their business. And it deals with a creative endeavor. From I'm looking at this subject matter from Karina's point of view. And this was something that she was hopeful would end up okay. Um, though there some there was challenge around it because there is darkness, but there is also bodies of light. And we <laughs> we have the cheeky little UFO there in the corner. But what's crossing that she hoped would be would be good fortune despite whatever this creative endeavor was that was having some issues around it. All right, just roughly. This is based again on a highly creative pers perspective, cre you know, that's so creative here, unless this is also 
perhaps someone's excessive use of things to go into fantasy land with. And, you know, that can be any kind of excess. But often with cups, it's something that alters your emotions and your mind. So let's just keep that in mind. And there's such a creative drive here. Now, again, work, it is connected to her work. And I think people also of very, oh, great, thanks out there. Now you can see why I wanna move, you, too noisy. Um, the eight of pentacles. So we're dealing with reputation as well. She may have known about something wherein we're talking about maybe an artist, really strong need for creative vision and skill. I don't know, fashion, um, jewelry. I just feel like this is somebody that was mastering their skill. And she's very hopeful of their creative vision, but there may have been something getting in the way. Let's see. In the past, well, there's the sun, but the sun is also about children. And there's the child that's represented. And remember, she was no pair. This is exposure as well, folks. This is knowledge, awareness. So I think it was somebody she was working for or had worked for while she was there or knew of feels more like she worked for this person. Mm, but this person was making her feel trapped, was making her feel limited. And maybe because that's how they felt. Um, trapped and buried trauma. Hold, hold, it may, being made to feel like you have to hold back. Also, maybe this person was holding back creatively what they they needed to do maybe by ba bad habits of excessive uh, use of certain things, uh, drink and so forth. But she felt stuck or it could be, not only did she feel that way upon knowing this factor, but I think that she realized this person was stuck in a bad situation and maybe they were overdoing because of, of old wounds, you know? People medic self-medicate, that's the feeling here. This was a shock to her. I think this person she was working for uh, may not have lived up to the the, standard of what she felt like was healthy no matter what and this made her feel insecure to say the least this person's fantasy land it was a little too much fantasy, I think. They needed clarity. I get a feeling maybe she felt like they were overindulging and leaving the child care up to her so that they could do that and work on their project or whatever. And I feel like this person's under a lot of pressure for success and doing this correctly, a high stakes project. I think they're under a great deal of stress to be a success. And I feel like they feel trapped maybe in that success. 
there is inner torture. There's, they have a great deal of anxiety and addiction issues. Yes. So I think one of the people she was working for was having issues with drink and or other substances. And she was afraid for this person. And I think she felt not only stuck herself with what she knew, but maybe that's, that this is more why this person was doing this in connection to their work. And it would mean that she feared their instability. Triggered, yes. This is um, feeling like there were secretive things that, that there hadn't been 100% honest uh, with her. This can be a card of theft, but definitely watching somebody's got another agenda. Okay. And she made her feel trapped and triggered. Okay, why is that? She couldn't talk. She couldn't stand up to this person. They had so much power. Oh dear. Okay. Justice. Someone wanted to make sure she kept quiet about something. And that's why they did. Something. There's because there is tension here. There's like, I got to be quiet because if I tried to take them to court for this, they would win. That's the feeling here. This person has all this power. Um, I don't know if she felt like kind of looks to me like she felt like she was being taken advantage of and couldn't talk about it and felt very triggered. Um, like this person wasn't stable. And so maybe that is what was the awful thing that happened. Maybe someone, you know, made her feel trapped. Again, this is about work and productivity and working with other people. And as no an pair, she has to do that. She has to work with the parents and the children. And a king of swords. I feel like there was a man that came into the picture here maybe an intellectual, as it says on the card, but very, could be like a lawyer, could be somebody that definitely has a, a sharp skill to manipulate, especially knows how to threaten or menace, or conversely, draw you in with the king of swords. Is he connected to the law? Maybe. Maybe, but she definitely didn't feel like she would come out on the better end of anything legal that she brought against him. This is the home and, and, and health and his stance in society. Oh, look at that. The emperor, the father, uh, the, you know, successful older man. So I feel like this, was this the man that said he would take her to an after party? It could have been because I did get an older man. I did get an emperor. Did she know this man outside of that bar would be the better question. And are they one and the same? This is her taking a risk or a gamble. 
as the Page of Pentacles. It's also about children. This is a father that has a child and a wife, but is very forward with the Eight of Wands, is very quick moving, likes risk taking. He likes risk taking. He also has a entrepreneur kind of a charismatic energy with that wands as well as the air. So I think he did something. He is responsible for what, what I believe ultimately happened to her. So she could have known the man that approached her in that bar through her employment as an au pair in some way. Let me see what I get with that. Because is this man that she met at the bar that she was last seen with, is he connected to her work? Was he connected to her work as an au pair? Was the man who is responsible for Karina's disappearance and murder. Is he connected to her job as an au pair when she was here? What I get, and I'm gonna also try my pendulum. Marriage. Oh my goodness, that's a yes. I think he was a married man. Again, that would make sense because the emperor is an older, usually uh, married, often man that has had children. Yes, very wealthy. Abundance and security. Independently wealthy. And we did get entrepreneur kind of energy with him. And that he likes risky behavior, though he is married. I believe this is a yes. Somebody that she knew that was married, was well off um, to do with her job as no pair. Yeah, success and action. Remember how he got also the eight of wands. He's very forward. He's very pushy. And we, we did get that about him. Yes. And this is strength. This is, he's animalistic and has issues of once he's drinking, uh, his inhibition lowers and he gets rough. But he looks like, I feel like, um, he looks like a nice guy on the outside perhaps, but once he's tanked or gotten a few in him, I think he can very easily become overwhelming yes there she goes down to the five of pentacles where there's change and disruption and it's not for the better uh she's left outside and that's where her remains were definitely found yeah so there's clarity with this card and also the fact that she was, um, this is, I think, indicating to the fact that the body, her remains were dismembered. Uh, the page of wands, I got this earlier. Uh, there's a child, but this child is very much likes to be on their own more more secluded might have also learning disabilities but a very enthusiastic child that she was watching I, I think I get a feeling she liked the child I think this was the father of one of them and she had come to a very painful ending that this was an adventure, something she set out um, uh, and with this 
creative, like, ah, oh, this will be an adventure. This will be fun. Not exo not at all. Um, I'm think she, I'm thinking she was taken advantage of in some way by a married male, wealthy, powerful individual that wanted to make sure she kept quiet and may have joined her at the bar with her friends. Um, if not, this was another male that was a threat. She found a threat. But I believe this is the one that was responsible for her disappearance and what happened to her. They wanted her to keep quiet. They orchestrated this. It's manipulated, and it was. This person's a highly skilled, highly intelligent. Again, we get that king of, king of cups, So, but he's Jekyll and Hyde. And I think he can do things that he wouldn't normally do under the influence. He can seem very compassionate on one side, it looks like, and sensitive, but I think you pour the drink in him and this man who I think uses drink or use drink frequently to escape stress from high stress job becomes a monster the sun exposure of him yeah he was afraid with the five of cups and that's why he ended her brought loss to her um he was afraid of being exposed to his wife and children or child and and he had it looks like to me a reputation so some kind of older male Drinky, drinky, drink, drink, drink. Um, and brings loss and put her on the other side. She was going to expose him. Something of the past, nostalgia, cleansing, and balanced emotions, temperance. I think, you know, this is something that she wants to be. I think she's saying that it will in in future will be um, solved. And this will be something that she lets go of completely because it will have come to balance. So I believe um, here, she's also going to get some kind of recognition. There's intuitive energy maybe with somebody she worked for maybe the, maybe the wife maybe she'll roll on him realize something a dream or a vision this is also somebody's perhaps being inebriated under the influence and also I think this is a wife realizing a husband's behavior of the fantasy component that he carried around and also a lack of empathy. At the end of the day, boredom, his liking, okay, it's his liking for risk and fantasy. She might put it together yet and come forward. This was a heavy burden and also made her feel trapped. I think there was a liking to trap the women, if you know what I mean, make them feel helpless as possible. And that was part of his fantasy. And so I think the, <clears throat> there could be a wife or a girlfriend that will recognize, <clears throat> excuse me, yet the behavior of this man. I think it's the wife because she, those were the cards that came up as a wife. So, <clears throat> excuse me, hang on a minute. Dang allergies. So if you appreciate these readings that I'm doing, 
um, to try to see what the Tarot has to say about cold cases and unidentified people, so on and so forth. I would appreciate a thumbs up, please, please. My, my um, channel needs uh, some circulation. And um, I guess that's it. And thank you so much for subscribing and I'll see you in the next live or video and take care. Bye-bye.